Hello and welcome to the getting started video for the flashcard quizzer, a new iPhone app that is really a high-tech flashcard system that is designed to be the single best study aid you're likely to ever use. This is a very unique flashcard app. It allows you to upload cards from text files straight into your iTunes and then iTunes will then download them right into your phone. You have the ability to bump your cards to friends or people in your study group who also have the same app. So if you are studying different subjects within your study group, you can assign different members of your group to create the questions and answers in a text file and then upload those to their app and then share those with each other member in the study group by bumping the flashcards either by the entire set or selected cards within a set to your friends. It's a very unique, very powerful application for students. So here's the main screen for the app. As you can see, there's four buttons. It was designed for ease of use, even though the application is pretty sophisticated in what it can deliver. For this getting started video, I'm going to first go through the review flashcards button. When you tap on this button, it's going to open a new page that allows you to select which of the subject matters you want to study. Center the subject matter you wish to study in the bar, and then you can either spin through the number of cards you have in that set to start with a particular card, or just click Review. Now, as you see, we have a Start Review button, an Ignore button, and a Shuffled Review button. If you want to just start your review, tap the Start Review button, and it will start your flashcards. If there are some cards that you're already familiar with because you've been studying for a while, you can center them in the main bar right here, and when you click the ignore button, it will gray out that particular card in the set, and then that card will not appear in your flashcards when you're studying them. If you want to have that card reappear, just recenter it in the bar, click ignore again, and it will go from gray to black, and it will be back in your cards when you study. The shuffled review button will mix the cards up, actually like shuffling the cards, so you're not getting the cards in the same order, and they're coming to you more at random. This is the page that shows the flashcards. Now, as you can see, at the top, we have an A plus and an A minus button here. This allows for you to make the text bigger or smaller in the flashcards. So if you have more data and you want to squeeze more data in a flashcard, you can click the A minus button and it will actually make the text smaller. But don't worry, you can scroll the text in these cards as well. Now, as you can see down here in the main flashcard page, you have add, edit, delete, image, ignore, and shuffle. And what this allows you to do is obviously add more cards if you need to, or if you see that you made a mistake and you want to change that mistake, you can click edit, and then you can edit an existing card. You can delete cards. And if you accidentally hit the delete button, a window will pop up and ask you, are you sure you want to delete this button? You can add images. You can ignore cards from this part of the app. So if you're going through cards and you you realize, well, I know this answer. You can click ignore, and it won't pop up until you add it or unignore it again. And then again, you can hit the shuffle button while you're reviewing the cards as well. Now, if you wanted to change the size of this particular flashcard, this text, you just click the A+, plus and it can bump it up, or it can bump it down, depending on what you'd like to see in the app. Now, in this screen, this is the edit flashcard screen. And you can get to this screen a couple of different ways. One is when you're creating new cards, or if you click the edit button, the screen will also pop up. As you can see here, this is uh, the, the astronomy deck. You can click this button to work on other decks of cards, but this particular screen is working with the astronomy deck. Here is your question. You can click this button here to add an image. In the question, uh, you can edit your answer here, and if you want to have an image in your answer, you can upload it from this button as well. And then when you're done, all you have to do is hit Edit Flashcard, and it will update that particular card. Now, say you wanted to edit this card, and you realize the question, you misspelled uh, something in the question, you didn't capitalize it, or you just want to change it. What happens is, you get your iPhone keypad that you're familiar with, but one thing that you can see here is you have a previous and a next. If you want to go to a previous card, click that. If you want to go to the next card, you can click that. And if you want to edit anything using the voice to text recognition software, just click this little button here, right there, and 
you'll be able to record your message. So you can actually speak your flashcards into existence, both the question and the answer. Now, in Create Flashcards, you're going to get essentially the same first screen uh, that you saw in the edit. The screen appears like this, and you type in the subject matter here, or again, you can use the voice recognition software in the app to speak it in. And then you get to select the background color for the card. Now, the cards are essentially white or just a little off-white, but you can choose the background colors. The app will default to a white background, but if you click any of the outside colors, say you want a, a yellow background or a green background, you click the green, and then the background would be green. Now, for example, currently we have a white background setting, and as you can see, that's how it's going to look if you left it at the default setting. Now, if you want to change the color to blue, you could do that as well. So in this particular example, if you select this green button here, it'll change the color so you can see what it looks like on the screen and you can select that color for a background if you want it just a dark green but if you want a shade of green or a shade of any of these colors what you can do is tap the middle button here and it gives you a color palette the color palette looks like this and so we started on the green and what you can do is you see this little circle here you can tap your finger anywhere in here and slide it around and it will slide the color scale around that you can pick for the background of your flashcards. How do you share a flashcard with your friends or study group members? It's really simple. You tap on this button here and you select a subject. As you can see, zero cards have been selected. So what you need to do is just tap this link here that says zero card selected and it will show you all the cards that are available. Now one thing you can do is you can tap the select all button and it will put a check mark by each one of the cards in the deck. If you would like to send all the cards to your friend you can or you can tap each one of those different questions and it will either select or unselect that particular card. Once you've done that then you can press the bump button and it will send the cards that you selected whether it was all of them or a portion of them and it will bump them to your friend. And so as long as your friend has the app, they can bump it with yours, and those cards will transfer over to your friend's flashcard app. It's really, really cool. And the last button on the main page is the tutorial videos. As you can see, we have a getting started video. That's the one you're watching now. And then we have other videos on creating the cards where we go into more detail about how to create the cards, how to upload them from a text file. Uh, we give you all the steps and what you need to know and how to do that. We have another video on reviewing cards and the ways to do that and sharing cards. We also have more videos that are going to be available on our website and that we may also add to this page as time goes on and as we add more features to the app. But for now, we've got these four videos. Uh, for more specific videos on different functions, you can always check our website, learn more about this great app. So that's going to do it for the Getting Started video. Again, this is the Flashcard Quizzer Flashcard app that you can get from the iTunes Store. And for more information, please visit our website at iPhone-Flashcards.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.